What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about zones in Revit MEP. So after spaces are placed in the building, so Revit MEP immediately adds them to the default zone. So when you say zone, it is actually a collection of spaces. Okay, so to view the default zone in your project, so all you have to do is to just right click at the blank space and then you go to the browser and then you look for system browser okay so once you click the system browser you can now see this dialog box here so that's the system browser let me just combine that to my project browser okay so there you go i now have here the system browser the other one is the project browser so here on the system browser as you can see you can change this drop down arrow uh drop down arrow to systems zones and analytical system so our concern here is the zone so like what i have said earlier so after spaces are placed in the building so revit mep adds these spaces to our default zone which is this so if i'm going to expand that so as you can see these are your default spaces or the spaces that we have created under the default zone Okay, so by the way, a space cannot be placed into an area without being added to a zone. So after a space is placed in an area, it is automatically added to the default zone. Right? So don't forget that. Okay, so if you are going to click that, so as you can see, you can right-click the space from that particular zone. And then you can select Show if you want. Just select OK. And then Revit MEP will zoom in you to that particular view. So just close this one. And then this is the one that we are talking about. Okay, so that's how you view the default zone in your Revit MEP after you place uh, spaces. Okay, so now the next part of the exercise is we are going to create a zone on a single level. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from the project browser, I'm going to click the arrow here to expand it and then look for design. And then I'm going to look for uh, level 2 zoning. So if you're having a difficulty finding it, you can just right click here and then select search. Maybe you can type uh, zoning, enter, enter again. And then you will now see here the zoning floor plans so let's say i'm gonna open level two so plan so just close the search and then just double click this one okay so this is our level two zoning so like what i have said earlier uh a zone is a collection of spaces so that's why you need to have a space for you to be able to create a zone all right all right so the next part of the exercise is we are now going to create the zone Okay, so from our level 2 zoning, I'm going to zoom into this part. So let's say I want to create a zone for computer lab, instruction, and then for the electrical. So I want these three spaces to be a one zone. Okay, so for me to be able to do that, so from the Analyze tab, so there's our zone tool. So let's click that one. And then on our Edit Zone mode by default add space is already selected so we are now going to select the space for our computer lab so just click that one and then we also need to select the instruction room here and then i'm going to select here as you can see by the way here the dimension also also change here okay so i'm now going to click the electrical here as well so just click that and there you go okay so once you're done with that, so you just need to select Finish Editing Zone. There you go. So you just created now your zone. Now we can't see here the symbol of our zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type VV to open the visibility graphic overrides. And then you just need to look for HVAC Zone. So as you can see, in this view, HVAC zones is turned off. So I'm just going to tick that one to make it visible, and then I'll just select your OK. And there you go. So there's now the symbol of your zone there. So I'm going to click that, and then maybe I'm just going to place it here. 
and then this is now your zone so as you can see this is the dimension of your zone and then you can also put a name here if you want so you can put a name there for your zone so let's say for example I'm gonna specify the name here I'm gonna type here since this is level 2 I'm gonna type 2 dash uh, west part west area B okay and then I'll just select here apply there you go so if I click this so it's now changed here so that's my zone so now if ever you have changed your mind you do not want to include the electrical to your zone so what you can do is um, you just need to select again the zone and then just click edit zone and then you can select here remove space and then you can remove the electrical there you go so it's now removed and then you can select finish edit mode so there you go okay but I would like to add the electrical to my space here. So I just select the zone again, edit zone, add space. So I click the electrical here and then finish editing zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to hide the HVAC zone. So I'm going to open again the visibility graphic overrides. And then I'll just uncheck the HVAC zones here. Or maybe I'll just check this and I'm gonna hide the reference lines so let's see this one reference lines and then okay all right so it's now hide the reference line there but if we're going to hover our pointer we can still select our zone but it's now hidden when we escape so that it's clean okay so that's how you do it now if we are going uh, if you're going back to the systems browser, so it, it's now added here. It's This is the one that I'm talking about. There you go. So you can select from there. Okay. So it's now added to our zone here. Okay. So it's very simple. As long as you already have the space, all you have to do is to select the zone and then select the spaces that you want to be added to the zone. Okay, so basically in this exercise, we have learned how to assign zones to spaces that were on the same level of the building. So we activated the zone visibility in the views and verified the zones in both the uh, floor plan view and in our system browser. Now, the next part of the exercise is um, we are going to assign spaces on multiple levels to a zone in the building. And then we're going to verify again the zone in our system browser. Okay, so let's move on that exercise. So I'm now going to close this exercise file. And then I'm going to move on to my next exercise. This is the, another exercise file. So as you can see, there's no link here. So I'll just right click, reload from, and then I select the link model that we are using. And then I'll select open. Okay. There you go. Okay, so the first part of the exercise is we're going to create a zone for spaces on multiple levels. So again, on our level 2 zoning, so this is just the continuation of our exercise. As you can see, this is the first zone that we have created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into my lounge area here. This one. And then... Um, I'm going to open the level 1 zoning here. So do, double click this. Okay. Oops. Cancel. So there's my level 1 zoning. And then this is my level 2 zoning. Right? So I'm going to select tile views or tile window. So I can see both here. Okay. So let's do this. So I'm going to make my level 1 zoning place here on the right side and then my level 2 zoning place here on the uh, right side. So lap, uh, level 1 is left side, level 2 is right side. So how to do that? So you just need to click on one view like for example your level 1 zoning and then click again your tile views. 
there you go so it's now your level one here level two on the right side now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna select analyze here and then let's click zone there you go all right and then on our level one zoning floor plan so I'm going to select the lounge uh, 120 so I click that so there's our first zone and then after that I'm now going to click this one so it's very simple so that's how you do it there you go okay and then after that I'm going to select finish editing zone that's it very simple exercise okay so basically that's the idea so if you already created the spaces on the next level of your building so all you have to do is to make a tile view of that and then you can just select those spaces to be added to your uh, zone so now let me just maximize my level one zoning so i click tab views or type pw to maximize it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tag it okay so i'm going to tag my zone here so from the annotate tab i'm going to select uh, tag by category or tag by category can also be found on your quick access toolbar so you click that one and then uh, there's a leader i want the leader and then a touch end and then half inch for the distance so i'm not gonna click this so click this one there you go and then after that I'll just select here modify okay so as you can as you will notice here the tag only displays in the view where it was placed so because the heating and cooling loads calculations have not been performed you will notice here the tag displays not computed for those values which is okay so that's all right because we haven't started yet our heating and cooling loads calculation that's why it's empty so if i'm gonna go ahead and select this tag here and then edit the family so you can see the parameter on that one so the parameter there is calculated cooling load and then the other one is calculated area per cooling load so that is the parameter that we're going to be added to this uh, tag that we have here once we perform the, co the heating and cooling loads computation. All right, so let us now select this zone that we have here. Okay, let's go to the system browser and then this is the zone that we have. And then let's just change the name. Okay, so let's change the name. That is our lounge area east okay simple name and then just apply that's it okay so again the system browser now here is uh, updated okay so that's it for this exercise so the new zone is now added to our system browser and in this exercise we have learned how to create a zone for spaces on different levels of the building so if you have any qu uh, comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day